In this video, I wanted to give you an easy concept from the bunch tight end that I absolutely love. I think it's one of the reasons that the bunch tight end is, I think, probably, honestly, to God, honest to God, a little bit more effective, a little bit more powerful than the gun bunch. It has the best bomb in the game. We've talked a lot about that on this channel, but it also has this other play that I absolutely love that really does put a lot of stress on your opponent if they're trying to run any type of zone drop 30 yard cloud flat defense in Madden 22. What's good guys, my name is Cody and I just wanna welcome you to the channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. We do videos like this every single day. Now, if you wanna get my Bunch Tight End complete offensive ebook, I'm gonna put a link to that in the description of this video. It goes over the entire Bunch Tight End formation, so it's not just a run heavy ebook, even though we like to use the run heavy when running this offense, because it gives you this play we're gonna talk about today, but this can still be applied to the Raiders, um, as, well as, the, uh, as well as the Chiefs, as well as the uh, Seattle Seahawks playbook. So if you wanna get my Bunch Tight End ebook, I call it my bombs away ebook because it features the best bombs in Madden. We literally have one play that will score a one play touchdown against any coverage. Not a coverage in the game will guard it and um, it's that good. So bunch tied in is just, I really think it's actually, I think you're gonna see more and more people using it. Um, it's really good, it really is. So anyways, I wanted to go over how you can beat a 30 yard cloud flat because the 30 yard cloud flat is the most popular way people are going to start taking away your deep corners and your deep crossers, especially because I'm in a compression set. I'm, I'm going to see a lot of cover too uh, in terms of how people are going to want to defend this. So the play we're going to be going over is tight end corner. Like I said, if you want to get everything on this on this offense, go ahead and just grab the ebook. There's a link in the description. It's only 15 bucks, so super affordable. I'm just going to set up kind of a basic Mabel coverage. And just for the video, I'm going to run this to the short side. Um, so what I mean by that is my bunch is to the wide side of the field. So I don't get a ton of advantage on crossing routes because the crossing routes, if you think about it, they're going to the short side of the field. But all we're going to do is we're just going to streak the circle receiver. We're going to put these, uh, the, the tight end. Uh, I don't know why I just freaked out there, but we're going to put that tight end. I think I'm getting this momentum thing or whatever. Uh, we're going to try to put the tight end on a streak. I don't know if it's going to let us. So let's see, maybe if I just wait on it, I don't know. This is crazy. This is Madden 22, boys. Um, we're trying to put him on there. We're not going to be able to, it looks like. So it doesn't matter. We'll just, we just need to get him. We're going to max protect. It doesn't, we don't have to have the tight end on a streak. Uh, I guess it's just not going to let us hot route him. So that's just even better. So let me see what we got going here. We just need him off this corner route. <laughs> oh, this is so annoying. Uh, it doesn't even matter. I'll just run the play and uh, we'll show it to you. So you'll see here that the circle receiver against that cloud flat will get over the top of the cloud flat, okay? Um, let me just complete a pass so I can get this momentum thing. This is ridiculous. Like they have to fix this stuff. This is like the dumbest thing. It's like impossible to play the game. Um, literally impossible. Because when I max protect, I don't even get, there we go, okay, okay. So we just don't need him on the route. It's not the biggest deal that he's like, I like to put him on a streak, but that's not the number one reason why this works. So I'll just show this to you without him on a streak. So the defense looks like this, the cover two. And then uh, I, the biggest thing is just watch the post route. So you'll see the post route when he cuts, he's got an angle and he's going to get over the top of that 30 yard cloud. And as you see, we're going to be able to, as long as Buda Baker doesn't make the greatest play I've ever seen, um, we're going to be able to hit this. And again, with the tight end streak, you're going to be able to clear that space out. Um, it's incredible to me that we're on three plays into this drive and I'm still not able to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to motion this guy over. Normally we wouldn't do that. Um, we just need, we just, um, like normally we wouldn't need to do that and we would run a concept on that side, but we'll just show this because the tight end is being absolutely ridiculous. So anyways, you just roll out here. You don't even have to roll out, but you'll see here, just pass lead that up. And there you see, that's the dot that I'm talking about. So as you see, it's a pretty significant throw. Um, so now the hopefully the momentum is gone. I want to show this with the tight end. Um, you know, so again, we're running this to the short side of the field. So uh, now what you're going to see is what our, our backside concept can be. So our backside concept can be a curl and a flat. You could run the corner streak. 
Um, I like to make the backside concept kind of a quicker read because this uh, front side is going to be a little bit of a signal. I mean, it's going to take some time. And I like to have just a kind of reliable check down to the left side. So curl flat is really my favorite way to run this. Um, if you wanted to, you could put your running back on an in route or an out route. You could do either one. But anyways, what you're going to see here is now with that tight end streak, it's even better. And you see how good this this uh, throw is going to be as long as Kyler Murray, Murray can actually uh, make, a, make a throw like that. So Zach Wilson in Mutt will make this throw like every single time. You're never going to have to worry about him. Um, he will always make these these throws for you because he has the inside dead eye ability. And then, like I said, you can always check it down left side. The curl flat concept this year is pretty much always open. Uh, but again, you're just pass leading this over the top. And as you see, um, the sideline catch animations are ridiculous. But as you see, I mean, he's wide open. You just make a catch um and you're gonna be good so this concept is truly one of my favorite plays um like i said we have this check down on the back side so i'll show you the check down real quick um and of course i can't make any hot routes now that's just awesome um that's that's crazy i am so annoyed by these uh this stupid thing this momentum stuff is so ridiculous uh, i'll just show you the crosser again and then we'll go over that I and mean, this is crazy I'll just run with Murray. And that gave them momentum. That gave them momentum. Oh my goodness. That How did that give them momentum? <laughs> this is crazy. This is Madden 22. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is Madden 22, man. You try to do a video, you can't hot route any receiver. <laughs> like, it is, this is so... Oh man, this computer defense got me shook. We're just trying to get the momentum bar to stop. <laughs> I just wanted to show you the curl flat concept on the backside, and I can't. Oh man, this is this is so funny. Um, all right, let's just show you this. Tight. So you could run this too. So like you could just run it as it is, and it'd be fine. You could easily just throw your high low between your your uh, your. The other thing I like about this is it will kill match, um, which I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail on match because it's it's really designed to beat cover two. But you see here, you've got this quick read. And it's just a high-low. So it's the same thing as curl flat. You've got a flat and a curl. The the same concept is basically the the, the point. Um, this is also one of my favorite uh, two-point conversion plays. Like I'm still, the fact that I'm still out of momentum is ridiculous. You'll see also this, this um, uh, we'll get, we'll just throw this over here. And let me see if I can get the, I think I might be, I might be able to hot route. Nope, still not able to hot route. Um, if you wanted to, like if I guess if you get in a situation like this in real game, just use the slot on a curl in the out. It's fine. You just need something to pull uh, the zones back, and you're either going to hit your your out route or you're going to hit your your um, your curl route. Just like you're going to either hit your flat route or you're going to hit your curl route. Um, so again, I'll just show this one more time. Now, if they're Mabel coveraging on this side, you're really likely to be able to hit your curl. So you'll see here, curl easy dot over the middle so that's the tight end corner play i'm sorry that the game like totally wouldn't cooperate with me in this video the curl flat read is kind of something that everybody knows i mean it's it's again it's just a high low between your curl and your flat that's all it is um you see the, the big thing is that that post gets over a 30 yard cloud that's the big thing i wanted to show and then if you can get that tight end just put that tight end on a streak that will clear out a significant amount of space to open that up. So I'm gonna punt the ball to my guys just one more time so that I can show you, like so that I can show you the the curl flat read because I'm sure the momentum is down now. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that the momentum, I mean that, that it would be darn near impossible to reset momentum even with first downs and things. Um, but anyways, guys, if you wanna get the full bunch tied in uh, offensive guy, there's a link in the description. We'll show you how to bomb every coverage with this guide. It really is, uh, in my opinion, the most it's definitely the most explosive offense it's super explosive it's really really hard to stop um i've been having a ton of success with it the biggest thing that you have to do if you're going to run this offense though is you have to be willing to take um you can't just try to bomb every play obviously it's it's got the best bombs in the game against some people you can but against like the best of the best players you're not going to be able to just come out and throw you know throw streaks or throw throw posts deep posts every game they're going to do something 
So you have to have these little baby dots like what I'm about to show you to be able to do this. So for example, let's say that their user decides he's gonna run with um, your, your tight end route. Okay, well now what you've got from tight end corner is this curl flat read on the backside. And all you're gonna do here is if you take a look at this curl flat, you can easily just step up in the pocket, you can scramble with that. The other thing that I like to do on that curl flat because you saw what just happened where we've got kind of an issue if they if they run like a vertical hook you could run a little into a little bit of an issue you're not going to see a lot of vertical hooks right now um but if you were for whatever reason to see a vertical hook then all you're going to do is you're just going to motion your um your your curl route just up to the numbers so just right there motion it out like that and now you'll see that vertical hook will never play it and as you can see, we can easily check it down to that. So not only are you able to beat the 30-yard cloud flat, you can beat every zone in the game with this. Um, and, and again, if you want to keep, like if you're on the short side, that's one thing. Um, you'll see here the vertical hook has typically has a hard time playing it. But this is the main route on this play. As you see, I mean, it just cooks that. It just cooks that zone. So, uh, anyways, that's tight end corner. Thanks for watching the video. Sorry about the momentum, stupid stuff. But if you want to get the the bunch tight end offensive ebook, there's a link in the description below. You can get that for just fifteen bucks.